Hello and welcome to the Shiki Science Show, where in this video we're going to talk about the news that came out yesterday from AstraZeneca that they have now initiated their phase 1 clinical trial for monoclonal antibody combination for the prevention and treatment of COVID-19. So the aim of this phase 1 clinical trial is to assess the safety, tolerability and pharmacokinetics, that is, what the body does to the drug to see if there's a generation of any anti-drug antibodies. And the drug that they'll be using is AZD7442, which is a combination of two monoclonal antibodies. So what are these monoclonal antibodies going to be doing? Well, the aim of AstraZeneca is to develop a drug for the prevention and treatment of COVID-19. So the aim of this drug is to prevent infection of healthy cells by the SARS-CoV-2 virus. And whilst it still isn't completely understood how this virus is infecting healthy cells, it is pretty well established that the way that it's doing it is through the use of spike proteins on the surface of SARS-CoV-2. And these spike proteins contain a receptor binding domain that can interact with ACE2 receptors on healthy cells to enable its integration into healthy human cells. So a desirable goal would be to block the receptor interaction of the spike protein with the ACE2 receptor. So what do we know about the antibodies that AstraZeneca are going to be using? Well, earlier this year, AstraZeneca signed an exclusive license to six candidate antibodies currently from the Vanderbilt University. And they had an nature paper out earlier this year where they screened lots of different potential coronavirus neutralizing antibodies that bind to the receptor binding domain on the spike protein. So AstraZeneca are going to take two of these monoclonal antibodies from the six and progress them into clinical evaluation as a combination approach within the next two months. So fast forward two months and here we are with the two chosen monoclonal antibodies that AstraZeneca further developed to improve the half-life. And according to their press release, the half-life extended monoclonal antibodies should afford at least six months of protection from COVID-19. And the other neat thing to notice about the antibodies is the fact that it's a combination, it's like a cocktail of two different antibodies. And the reasoning behind this is based on the fact that by having two monoclonal antibodies that bind to distinct parts of the SARS-CoV-2 spike protein, it is hoped that it could improve the effectiveness of neutralising the virus and prevent entry into healthy cells. So this phase one trial is going to include 48 healthy participants in the UK aged from 18 to 55. And so it is hoped that based on these results, they'll have an idea of the tolerability and safety profile of the drug. And if it's good news, then AstraZeneca will progress it into larger late stage phase two and phase three trials to evaluate its efficacy as a potential preventative and treatment approach against COVID-19. So as always, I hope you've learned something and thanks for listening.